High above planet Earth, this European Space Agency satellite is gathering data about sea ice thickness. It's critical for ships, including cruise ships, traveling through the Arctic. The trouble is, in the summer, the satellite has a hard time distinguishing between melting ice and open water. That's a challenge when it comes to navigation. A lot of the, the melt water that's produced from melting snow and ice remains on top of the ice. It sits on the top of the sea ice. And this poses challenges for all types of remote sensing sensors. To get around that, researchers are turning to machine learning to gather all sorts of data from the ground, in the air, and up in space to make better predictions of where ice is going to be. What AI allows you to do is look for patterns in the data. Leveraging the power of big data to adapt to climate change isn't limited to the Arctic. We're a 14-acre vineyard. Joanna Wells's vineyard sits atop a mountain ridge in California. They're turning to remote sensors to manage everything from soil quality to the health of the vines, and responding before a problem turns into a crisis. So we can get alerts and you know monitor in real time and you know be ahead of it. It's a distinct competitive advantage and good for business too, as more companies realize there are real benefits in thinking and acting green. We are seeing that consumers actually care and they actually are willing to pay a premium in many cases for more climate responsible products. By leveraging the power of big data, companies are able to bring together the science of climate change with the economics of climate action. And we should be able to use these observations to, to, to tell ships that it's safe or not safe to go in a certain location. Whether a cruise ship navigating Arctic waters or firefighters responding in real time to fast-moving flames. Kamiya Razavi, Global News.